What? Y'all see it, man. Good morning, good morning. So it is Saturday morning. Uh, Zach and I are going to go out and do some do some yards. Uh, I'm going over to Fairburn to do that one. Uh, it's, well, it's, let me get my got to get my got to get my glasses right. Uh, I'm going to do that one. That uh, well, it's really easy, you know. Uh, and uh, but it's big. And I'll be trying out the new mower. Uh, I haven't used the mower at all. Uh, the only thing I've done is just put it on the trailer and put it in the shop last night and then put it back on the trailer this morning. That's all I've done with it. So uh, I'm super stoked about getting it. Uh, I appreciate all the all the comments and all. Uh, you know, um, yeah. Uh, and there's gonna be haters, you know. I got guys coming in the comments, man. Um, and I've been kind of wanting to address it, but I really don't. Everybody feels a, a different kind of way. So, uh, yeah, uh, I've been wanting to address this for a couple days. So, apparently, there's a lot of people, and there's nothing wrong with this. I'm not as out of dig at nobody. Well, kind of. So, apparently, there's a lot of people that keep their mowers cleaner than I keep mine. That's a given, okay? Uh, I'm not big on, um, you know, a spotless mower. I'm just not. I'm sorry. It's not important to me. Uh, you know, it's not. Uh, I don't wash the mowers every day. I'm not OCD about it. I'm OCD about making money. And uh, I've never lost a customer behind a dirty lawn mower. I mean, I just want to throw that out there right off the top, you know, before I even, you know, uh, get too deep in the video. So make sure you catch it. Because the retention on the, on the videos is about six minutes. So I need to get all my digs in in the first six minutes ah. so by now y'all will or be watching the uh video where i fixed the the discharge baffle uh and that baffle is an aftermarket baffle so i have one guy coming to comments talking about well you got the, the decks broke on this one you got four mowers and all of them are broke except for the new one that's a lie okay every one of the mowers runs i can make money with every one of the lawn mowers i got i don't keep mowers around that don't run one guy was saying that man you, you're gonna have a damn junkyard of x mark stuff but i don't i've been doing this for well going on 18 years and i ain't got y'all see i got four mowers that's it and I don't have a lot of junk laying around. I don't have mower frames over here behind the shop or in my garage or nothing. Because I liquidate stuff. See, you got to know how to liquidate things uh, when they become not useful anymore. And that's what I do. So for all you guys coming at me because I got a dirty lawnmower, come on, man. You got to... Uh, you got to pick your battles, man. But you ain't going to win that one either. It's hard to come on the channel that I created, right? and you know take a dig at me and not get some kind of retaliatory thing because again i don't just come on here and do the videos just because or say things in the videos that are not true i don't i don't make bold statements about shit i don't know nothing about i don't uh you know uh, do things in the videos without uh well, it's it's how I live, really. I mean, at the end of the day, it, it's really uh, the business is an extension of my life, and uh, you know, right or wrong, that's what it is. So I feel like when people come at me stupid in the comments about a dirty lawnmower or, or this or that, or you know, I need to spend you know uh, thirty minutes a day washing my lawnmowers. Well, you can spend thirty minutes a day washing your lawnmowers. While you're spending that thirty minutes, I'm gonna go make another hundred. So. You know, then I could pay somebody like you to wash my mowers for me. See, that's, that's, it's about how we spend our time. And a lot of the younger guys, they get all caught up into these little things that don't matter to a guy like me. You know, uh, we all know that the mowers I buy are top, top of the line mowers, rather it be whatever brand. It doesn't matter. I don't buy, you know, uh, mowers that are not top of the line. And people can say what they want about Skag, about X Mark, and about anything else, but, 
The Skag that I had was top of the line. The X marks that I buy are top of the line. There is no better mower than than these two mowers. You know, uh, they're they're equal. You know, there's some equal ones out there, I'm sure, but I don't know that you're gonna get any better. Okay, so in saying that. I'm trying to word this carefully so well it's funny to me that the guys people come in my comments and they talk about you know uh, i don't take care of my equipment well there's three things about a lawnmower that are critical that you can check anytime you want and mine are always on dead ass on point because i know what's important y'all gotta know and keep in mind that i didn't just start this business last year that I know a lot about what is important and what is not to me. A clean mower is not important. A mechanically sound mower is. A money making machine is what a lawn mower is to me. It's just a tool. It's nothing more, nothing less. And I'm gonna make money with them. That's what I do. So it ain't no different than any other thing else. And whether I wash it every day or once a month, whether it needs it or not, or once a year, whether it needs it or not, don't worry about it. It ain't it ain't hurting you, and it ain't hurting the mower. And, uh, you know, one guy said, Mom, I might have a salvage yard of Exmo. Well, it's funny you say that, that I don't take care of the mowers. It's funny you say that, too, because I got, mo I got, I got four lawn mowers. One of them I got in 2014, and that's one with a surging engine. Ain't got nothing to do with the actual mower. The other one I got in 2019, so that's five years of me not taking care of a lawnmower that the first one lasted before I got the second one. And considering we run, we've been running two trucks since 2019, that should tell you that I've got two mowers that run all the time. I mean, I don't know. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but that would that's what that would say to me. So I got one from 2014, one from 2019, and then I got one that I just bought, uh, you know, two months ago, month and a half ago, and then I got the one I bought yesterday. So if I'm not taking care of the mowers, how does a mower last from 2014 to 2020? Do you realize the wear and tear that a mower gets on these trucks and trailers in five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years? A boatload of wear. Just, it ain't even, I mean, dude. <laughs> so much wear and so much going on and so much money to be made that I can overcome any of those little things that you're talking about. If I wanted to, I could wash the mowers every day. If I wanted to, I could hire somebody to wash the mowers every day. That might be a good business plan for some of these, these guys that are coming at me. Of course, these guys don't probably don't even have a lawnmower. You know, they just want to be like me, you know. I don't know. But uh, I got to say, and I'll say it one more time, I ain't never lost a customer behind a dirty lawnmower. Not ever. The only way that I really wash off the mowers is when I get sick of the grass on top of the deck or uh, I see something that uh, I want, well, I feel like it, put it like that, when I feel like it. And considering I'm buying the mowers and I'm making money with the mowers and I'm running the mowers and I'm fixing the mowers and I'm doing all the money part with the mowers, then I got that right, right? And if I was really mistreating them, they wouldn't last five years. Do you know how many lawns we cut in five years? So I can overcome a lot of stuff uh, that the mowers go through by the money that I make. Hey, hey, there's ice in that cooler. So don't come at me all stupid talking about I don't keep the mowers clean. I, I, I never will. And then the guy went on to say, man, you uh, missing the scalping wheels and all that, missing the damn, the plastic deck cover, spindle cover things. Let me tell y'all, and I'll say it, trying to get all this in in the first few minutes of the video so you understand, because a lot of people don't really watch the whole video. 
videos and that's cool i get it I'm, I'm kind of a boring guy i know but sometimes you might you might catch you might catch something that you don't know maybe not but i do not and i'll say it one more time i do not like the anti-scalping wheels on a lawnmower that's my personal opinion i do have a disclaimer so you can so when you see up these decks on my lawnmowers and you see that they don't have scalping anti-scalping wheels on the deck that's because i don't want them on the deck it's not because i'm not taking care of them it's not because i'm not doing any one or two things it's because when they when when, when i buy a mower and it has a, like the new mower i just got so once they come off a mower i don't i don't put them on there i don't put them back on there with every mower i got it ain't that i'm mistreating the mower i just don't i don't want the scalping wheels on there i don't like them and for the yards that we cut i don't need them well ray that ain't how you supposed to do things who, who is to say how you supposed to do things who is you <laughs> you know just kills me that the, the, some of the comments I get so I finally got rid of the skag y'all see that and I still got haters I love it man I love you haters man thank you for, for motivating Ray you know so uh, also yesterday when I got the more I got three of these shirts one of them's got uh, orange that's y'all skag colors one of them got orange and one of them got yellow stripes I appreciate the, the shirts big shout out to to Peaks over there, Jack Peaks Sales and Service over there in Palmetto. Big shout out to you guys, man. I really appreciate y'all looking out for me uh, and helping me get off that headache. And they love the Skag mower. They do. I don't. So now, all you Skag guys, y'all ain't got to worry about me dogging that raggedy mower you got out no more. <laughs> I ain't even got to worry about it, y'all. How about that? What you think about that? that there.